So today we're checking out five knives and each one has a unique feature. Starting the list off, we have the Reich Lamella. Now there is a new version of this coming, supposedly with some upgrades. I'm not sure exactly what all the upgrades are, but um, there is a new version coming. So this has a 20 CV Persian blade or, or a trailing point blade. And then when we move back here, when we get to the unique feature, you can see that the titanium handle has no hardware. There's no pivot, no hardware screws, no nothing. So how is this put together? How, how does that work? So the way it works is this is actually a sleeve over the back of it. So everything, all the hardware and everything is underneath this sleeve. And you can see it basically turns it into like an integral, but this all just slides right off and is a secondary piece. Now it is a liner lock and it has a sub liner lock. So the liner is screwed into the scales on the inside. Um, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool how they, they did that, you know, and it, it feels very, very solid. You know, the little details with this one really stand out. Um, you know, you can really feel there was a lot of attention to detail with this. This blade is more of a self-defense style blade. Fantastic action. Extremely, extremely smooth. You know, and, and like I said, you know, it's just all the little details are there on this one. The next one, the Riat. Gent number nine. Now the Riat Gent number nine has an M390 hollow ground sheep's foot blade. And I love this. If you look, the hollow ground satin goes all the way to the top right here. Doesn't that look cool? You know, it has a little, um, you know, section of the flat over here at the peak of the tip. A nice little swedge. It looks good. Beautiful satin, nice and thin behind the edge. Crowned thick spine. So it is a robust blade, but it does have, you know, it is thin behind the edge. Great flipping action. You know, it's Riat, so you know it's the detent's going to be tuned to perfection. Uh, the handle. Titanium frame lock, as you can see. And then you look back here, it's a bunch of little standoffs. Now, what is the unique feature about this? So the unique feature is this. If you look, again, you don't see really much hardware, right? Well, that's because it only has a pivot. The hardware is actually this guy right here. So you put this little tool in there and then you unscrew this thing and then the scales will pop off and come apart. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Some people might say it's an inconvenience, you know, uh, some people might say, you know, it's awesome. So it just depends on your preference, but basically this little thing sucks it or pulls in both scales into each other. And then you have all these little standoffs. The standoffs are mostly just for show and they can be a little frustrating when you take it apart, but regardless, solid knife, very well done. You know, Riette always does a good job and you know, it, it, it does have a cool look to it. I personally like the way it leans forward. You know, the blade shape's really good and you know, it's a super, super solid knife. Um, let's get to the next one. The next one, is by DEFCON Knives. And it has an M390 blade, titanium scales, titanium backspacer and pocket clip. And you can see you have spots for tritium inserts, which is pretty cool. You know, DEFCON does a lot of that. Reversible clip, and you do have the, the window cover there. Now, what is unique about this? That would be the lock. So the lock basically has a, a leaf spring inside here so that when you push the pivot, it pulls the liner in. So it's basically a liner lock that's on a, a leaf spring connected to the pivot, which is very cool because it allows it to have, you know, a, a stable locking system, a nice strong locking system that also creates a great detent. Um, and this one has also kind of a unique front flipper. Look at that front flipper, isn't that kind of cool? And it works so good. That's the thing about it is that you see it. And you know, when I first seen it, I was like, yeah, I don't know if that thing's gonna work good, but holy cow, this thing is so, so easy. I can't imagine anybody really having that many difficulties with this one. It's nice and grippy, you know, even just, you know, putting your finger right here in the front of it, it works really good. Then it also has just a regular flipper. You know, if you're not a front flipper guy, there's a regular flipper, which is really cool. So, you know, all in all, you know, it, it's a slim, sleek, uh, simple knife. And I mean, simple by, you know, just like the look of it, you know, it, it's pretty muted, which a lot of people do appreciate about, you know, their EDC pocket knives. So, um, and then also, I, you know, I can't, I don't know how, how their steel is going to test across the board, but they actually had so, some decent steel testings come in from the HRC tests. So 
This one's actually, I'm adding in. So there's actually gonna be six knives in this video. I had to throw this one in because it is brand new. This is the Pyrotech Kraken. And the Pyrotech Kraken has an S90V sheep's foot blade with a titanium crossbar lock handle. So what's unique about it? It is the magnetic scales. The scales are magnetic, it has four magnets. You can see how this is press fit in there. Now, because that's press fit in there, or the way it's press fit in there, you know, it makes it to where it's kind of hanging onto the scale. Well, same thing on the other side. So you see you have a titanium mill pocket clip, which is where that goes if you want to reverse the clip. You know, you just take that off and put there, you know, and vice versa. But the way you take the scale off is you just take that screw out right there. Take that screw out and then you have to still pry it off because there is still magnets and that will pop it all off. That screw is holding the clip, which is press fit into the handle. So while hanging onto the clip, it's also pulling in the handle, which is really, really cool. So the whole knife is so easy to disassemble and then, you know, to change Omega springs, it's like the easiest knife. And then other people were saying, you know, because I was talking about this being very close to the scales, you know, yeah, when you're sharpening it, you can always just take the scales off. That would probably help you out. As far as freehand goes though, you, you might not want to do that. You can, but it would be very slim in the hand. But anyways, love the detent on this crossbar lock. They did a good job with it. Um, and you know, has a strong lock up, very comfortable in the hand. Everybody was saying that this looks like, or reminds them of a Sabenza in a 940. Like if they had a baby, you know, Sabenza in a 940 have a baby that would be the Kraken, which I have to agree. It does, you know, it has, it has, you know, some similarities with the handle and then the 940 shape. Um, so I think it's cool though, man. I, I, I love it. I think they did a really good job with it. But having scales like this not only makes it very easy to disassemble and change the Omega springs and everything, but it also makes it to where you could replace the scales really easily, um, you know, or you can modify them really easily. Now, I do think that they do have some extra scales on the site, but, you know, even moving forward, maybe they'll do other ones like my Carta or who knows, you know, but it does make it to where if you like to customize your knives, you know, like polishing, anodizing, all that stuff, maybe even millwork, these would be very easy to do it on. Um, and I have thrown this thing around, you know, and dropped it a bunch to see if the scales would pop off. And so far it has been very, very solid. Let's try out the next one. Now the next one is the new Wii Solid. Um, this one, <laughs> you know, a lot of people gave me comments saying it is ugly. Some people said it was ugly. Some people was like, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So, it, you know, just like any knife, there's going to be some preferences. So this one has a dual ground 20 CV blade. So it's thicker here, thinner up here. It does slice really good. The handle is an integral titanium frame lock. Now the integral part is kind of unique, but it has been done plenty of times before. So that's not the unique feature on this knife. However, the titanium handle is extremely, extremely comfortable. You know, this is a large knife. It's a large handle. The action is ridiculous. So, and that's where the unique feature comes in. The unique feature is the flipper tab. The flipper tab is on a spring. So it's a, a basically you load it up. So it has a spring, you pull back, and then now it's in position to push the blade, and then you just break that detent and it goes flying. So it keeps the flipper tap out of the way, you know, for when it's in the pocket or whatever, or when it's open, you know, there's nothing right here poking out. But when you tug on it just a little bit, it puts it in a position to be a fantastic flipper. It does crank out there really good. The GTC spring-loaded flipper tab is something that was a great invention. It works really, really well, and, and you know, it makes for phenomenal deployment. I do have a full video of this, you know, of all these knives, if you want to check them out. Um, maybe, you know, during this whole video, I'll put little cards up in the corner. So if you've seen those pop up, that would be the full video. I might have, I'm not sure. Now, some people would compare this to the Kickstop, which, is kind of similar in some ways, but the unique feature on this one is the kickstop. And we'll talk about that. This is a 20 CV blade with a titanium frame lock. And you can see it has a frame lock on the inside. Then it has covers of titanium over the titanium. I personally love it. I think it looks really good. And there are so many different versions of this as far as materials go. Um, there's a flavor for everybody, whether you love my card, a carbon fiber, different colors, titanium. 
I can't recommend this knife enough. I, I freaking dig this thing. I love it. It is so, so well done. Riyadh is the one who makes this, so you know it's you know really good quality. And yeah, you can tell. You know, as soon as I got my hands on it, I kind of knew it was Riyadh just from the little details, how it feels. But this is the kickstop. The kickstop is a flipper tab that's separated from the edge. And as the blade comes down, it pushes it back up and locks it into place. So when you break the detent and snap it out, it's not holding out. It's not coming out right here. So it's not gonna compromise your grip or your ergonomics. Now, another thing it does is it allows it to be in a position to where you're getting more leverage than you would otherwise. Because if it was stuck to the blade, the, the flipper tab would be very low and would be pushing you down the handle. This way, it makes it to where it's in a position that would be the best for phenomenal flipping action, but it moves out of the way when it's open, which is really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, this is one that um, I, I freaking adore so much. It, and, you know, it, it's one that they made a lot of. So there's plenty of these available. And like I said, man, if you're looking for a very good look, in my opinion, I think it's a good looking. I love this shield. But if you're looking for a gorgeous, good looking, extremely well done knife that, you know, has a little bit of a gentleman look to it. Look at that swedge up the top. Oh, it's gorgeous. Then check out the F22 Kickstop. It is amazing. So there you guys go. Work hard. Stay tough. Until next time, peace.